everyone. Welcome back to Wild and Free Art. Today we are going to make these adorable little lace flowers. You don't need very much. You just need lace with one solid edge, I mean flat edge, on the side. It makes it a lot easier um, to do your sewing. Larger lace does work best, but if you're creative, you can use a small one. And because I'm also going to use these flowers to make some hidden paper clips, I have a hole punch, I have paper clips, and I have thread, and I have some PVA glue. And you will also need some buttons. So what you need to do first is to take a piece of lace um, depending on how big you want your flower, uh, anywhere from a couple inches to about five or six. Then you're going to want to take a good piece of thread about the length of your arm and you're going to want to thread it onto your needle. So once you're ready to go, you're going to take your piece of lace and you're going to start working on the flat end. I usually make a little loop and knot on the edge and then I just start going. So you're basically just doing a running stitch. Um, so that is just simply in, out, in, out, in, out. No back stitching needed or else it won't um, crumple and ruffle um, at the end. So you just keep going and every once in a while you pull the thread uh, to see if you are going to, if your loop is completely formed. Um, you're going to be wanting to make a circle so that when you, so that it basically comes right back um, to the beginning when you pull the two ends, uh, put the two ends together. So once you've made a full circle, you need to overlap the two ends and give them a quick stitch together. Again, I just use a couple back stitches. Um, you want to try and, you know, kind of hide it, make sure that your thread is the same color as your lace. Uh, if you're a better stitcher than I am, then I'm sure you know something way more fancy. But I just did a couple back stitches up along the edge and uh, secured it that way. Once it's secured, uh, before cutting off any thread, you're going to want to um, get your button and you're going to want to secure your button on to your um, flower. Now in this example I used a button with two holes um, but I do find that shank buttons are a lot easier to work with uh, but you know I, I like to experiment and see what happens um, using other all different kinds so this one was harder to do um, than the shank button but uh, it was still very much doable. So basically what you're going to do is run just like you would sew on a normal button, except when you come around to the back, you're also going to want to grab a little bit of the fabric of the lace edge um, and pull it tight. So as to make sure that your flower is fully underneath the button, and the button is secured to your fabric, if that makes sense. Once everything is secured, you can cut off the excess lace. And there you have your little flower ready to go. So here I've decided to make another flower. Um, I'm making a double flower with this one and I'm using a shank button. So the process is basically the same. 
you use your piece of ribbon, but uh, you, your sorry lace, but you make it a little bit longer. You secure the edge, and you do a running stitch around in a circle until it uh, meets up again um, to the beginning. And then you add a couple stitches to secure it. And then instead of going straight to putting on the button, you basically continue doing a running stitch along the bottom of the lace until you come around and do a second full circle, slightly pulling it a little bit wider as you go around um, on the second time. And then the procedure is pretty much the same. You secure it with a couple back stitches and then you um, sew on the button just like you did with the other one. Um, the next step I've decided to do after making the flowers, and this is 100% optional, you can use them however you like, um, is to turn it into a hidden paper clip. So basically, before cutting the thread off, I've just taken a paper clip, making sure it's turned in the right direction, and I'm just giving it a quick sew on. So I'm just sewing it on to the back of my flower, really just roughly, just to give it extra security. Um, and then once it's fairly secure, I'm just going to uh, take one of my hole punched circles um, that you can see on my desk there, and I'm just going to glue it onto the back to hide the paper clip. Obviously, also optional, you can just simply put a dab of glue directly on the paper clip on the back without hiding it, or you could use a little piece of fabric, another piece of lace, you could glue another flower on the end, I mean, you can make it however you want it to be for you. I hope you've enjoyed today's uh, little ephemera making tutorial. I would love to see your results, please do feel free to share them by tagging me on Instagram at livewildandfree and or if you would like to join the little Facebook community it's Create Wildly on Facebook and happy to see your work. In the meantime, happy crafting. Bye bye.